Hi guys, um, I'm sorry I didn't make my video yesterday, I was, I'm really ill, and, <coughs> and my camera just started to work, so it's like 6am here, and I'm staying home today because I don't, okay, because one, I'm ill, oh god, my camera, okay, so one, I'm ill, two, Okay, okay, okay. Let me just explain why I haven't been making videos very much on this channel or on my personal channel. So, I have a lot of family problems going on. If you don't know my life story, you wouldn't understand. But, basically, everything has been topping one thing onto another. And I've just been really depressed. I have really bad depression problems and everything that's been happening hasn't really been helping and then at school life I haven't there's been a lot of shit going on and it just I'm just not feeling the best about school so that's one of the reasons why I'm not going today is because of some crap that's going on about me um <laughs> I really don't like that place very much. It's not, I don't feel comfortable around that atmosphere. It's very misleading to say that school's supposed to be a comfortable place because I don't feel comfortable there at all except for when I'm with my best friends. I'm sorry, I, I sound really, really ill. Um, and then another reason is because that I haven't been making videos because I have been really ill. I am not the strong, physically the strongest in my family. My immune system isn't as strong as others are in my family. So um, my immune system basically has been breaking down in the winter. And I have just been like sick every weekend. And I've been in pain. And then, to top it off, I have really bad kidney problems. That's the only health problem I can actually think of that I actually have severely. And if I don't, and at school, they don't let me use a bathroom when I need to. And I don't like doctors or hospitals, believe it or not. Because doctors, I don't feel like they tell me the full truth. Um, I'd rather just get better on my own or I'd rather just have nature do its thing. Like if it's my time, I don't want to be hooked on some medicine. If I have to die then or now, then I would rather die peacefully and in nature's way of saying it's your time instead of being hooked in a hospital bed on medication that I don't even know what would do to me. So... <laughs> Um, it may sound stupid, but I don't feel like going to the doctor to get one of those, like, I need to pee a lot things, like bathroom passes, because I feel like if you need to use a bathroom, a teacher should let you. And my teachers don't really let me use a bathroom because I'm either missing something important to learn, or people use a bathroom too much in that class that our teacher doesn't let us go anymore. And if, and I have a really small bladder, so, if you're my, one of my friends watching this, you know how often I use the bathroom. After I, like, drink a glass of water, I'll drink Monster, and I'll have to pee, like, three times in one hour. And so, like, if I have to use the bathroom, they won't let me. And I have to hold it, which I have a lot of kidney diseases. Not diseases, but kidney, um... <laughs> problems when that happens. I had a kidney infection one time and I was literally, I was bleeding. I was coughing up blood. I did not feel good. And not many people know about this, so I'm just addressing it now that I do have health problems, not severely, severely where I'm in the hospital every week or month, but enough to where it is a problem in my personal life, social life. And in my personal social life, it just, I don't really, I haven't been really feeling the best. Uh, I haven't cut, so I know I said I've been depressed, but I've been clean. 
and I, I think all you girls would be happy to know that. I am like really sick right now, and I'm going to make an explanation video about the same thing on my personal channel. And all around, I just haven't been really feeling um, the best. I really haven't. And I, my mindset is not in that mind frame where I have to be on top of everything and my room is a mess. If you were turned around and you could see my actual room room, it's a mess. I'm a mess. I just, I can't take today. So my mom is letting me stay home. Um... This is going to be a long video because it, I'm explaining things. I'm probably not in focus. And there's probably a really bright light above me. But that is the only way. Well, hold on. Okay, hopefully that's better. But um, I'm not looking my best. I'm not wearing makeup or extensions. This is my natural hair when I wake up. Um... I literally just got out of bed, so that, that I'm, I just have to explain because I don't think Cassie or anybody else really knows what's going on, um, and Cassie, I haven't been ignoring you because I've been mad at you or anything, it's because of these reasons, because I haven't been really feeling up, some crap has been going on at school, uh, yeah, I just don't feel all around the best, so I'm going to talk about the song for a little while, and then I'm going to go make my explanation video on my personal channel, and then I'm going to go to sleep, because I'm not feeling the best. So, um, the song, I listened to it, and I was literally in tears, because I feel like that every day. Like, um, why can't anyone just like not say like how hard is it just to not say something mean and negative or like how hard is it to say something positive because I'm pretty sure everyone in my school knows that I have depression problems or if not they know I cut and believe it or not even though I may seem like I have a lot of friends and I'm loved I get a lot of hate at, about it and I get like told that I'm a poser because I have no real reason to cut. It's like you don't know my life story. And I will be making a video on my personal channel about that soon. Because I feel like if people really know my life story, then they'll really understand. And it's like, why not tell people my personal story if they're not going to like... If no one's going to... If everyone's going to call me a poser, I'd rather have my story out there to... Like, not have a reason to cut, but like give them an explanation on why I do it because many people have just told me oh you're just a poser you just cut because you want to be like everybody else you want to be popular that's not the reason like I may seem like a really outgoing person but if I'm in a new group I do not like talking I do not like putting myself out there I don't like attention because attention just kind of I just don't like attention <laughs> And people are like, well, you dye your hair, you get piercings, so how that brings a lot of attention to you. And I'm like, because that is the way I like to dress, I like to look, that is my image. I know it brings a lot of attention to me, and I don't like it, but if it's, if I can look in the mirror and I can be happy with myself, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna dress like that, I'm gonna look like this, I'm, and if you don't like it, then I'm sorry. I'm not here to please you, I wasn't put on this planet to please you. <laughs> So, I, I really connected to the song. Like Cassie, I want to get it on my iPod so I can listen to it because there aren't enough songs that really address bullying, which I think that people listen to because I know there's a lot of songs in the genre of rock that actually do address bullying, but a lot of a lot of people do not like them because they talk about reality. And I feel like if you, if you sing a song that is about reality, and you try and wake people up, they won't like it. Because I think people are too afraid to accept the truth about reality. That it's just a horrible thing. Like, people keep living in this 
in this fantasy world where they think it's okay, like, all their mean comments don't affect somebody. It does. I mean, I'm not going to school because of, of bullying and because of, like, everything that's been going on. It really does affect people, and it affects me, and, it, and when it affects the person you're bullying, they get hurt. They hurt themselves, or, like, or they'll do something that isn't them. They'll put themselves in danger, and then that affects everyone around them. So just think twice before you want to say something mean to someone. I don't care. And even if it's protecting something, like if you're trying to stand up for someone who's being bullied, being mean back isn't the way to go. Being mean is just bullying, a, like is bullying back. So you're basically being a bully even if you don't intentionally mean to be a bully. Because chances are the bully that is bullying someone is also going through really tough times and... All you have to do is be nice to them. If you're nice to them and you show them that someone actually does care, then they'll lighten up on it. I promise you that. Like, there was a bully in my school that now we're, like, really close friends because he used to bully me a lot for the music I liked, but then I finally kind of opened up to him, and I was like, okay, what's really going on? And now we're really close, and I, I don't regret being nice to him. I really, I'm really glad that we're friends, and, um, yeah. So this is a long video. If you stayed till the end, thank you.